put away a pint and a half of bourbon before I could listen to that. The sheets were crisp and dry and the fear was far enough away in the alcohol. But whenever I closed my eyes, Coretta was there, hunching over me and kissing my chest. I was still young enough that I couldn't imagine death really happening to anyone I knew. Even during the war, I expected to see friends again, though I knew they were dead. The night carried on like that. I'd fall asleep for a few minutes, only to wake up calling Coretta's name, or to answer to her calling mine. I had to find Frank Green. Knife Hound held the answer to all my problems. He knew where the girl was, if anybody did. And he knew who killed Coretta. I was sure of that. Richard McGee was dead too. But I didn't care about that death because the police couldn't connect it to me. It's not that I had no feelings for the murdered man. I felt that the killer should be brought to justice. But I didn't believe that there was justice for Negroes. I thought that there might be some justice for a black man if he had the money to grease it. Money isn't a sure bet, but it's the closest to God I've ever seen in this world. I didn't have any money. I was poor and black and a likely candidate for the penitentiary unless I could get Frank Green to stand between me and the forces of DeWitt Albright and the law. 